Okay, so in this lesson we are going to uh, generate our Rails project. But first, make sure that you are in um, the Rails blog. Just cd and, and get into the blog um, file, okay? Um, now, we are going to find out a bit about Rails. So I'm going to say Rails new dash h for help. Enter. And this gives us um, a few options for creating our Rails project. So this is um, the usage for that. What I'm interested in is dash T. So this prevents Rails from generating test files. I'm just trying to keep things as simple as possible for now. Um, in the future, we are going to write some tests. So dash T and full stop and enter. All right, so this has uh, created um, a Rails project for us without um, any test frameworks. And once you've done, you have a long list of files um, from Rails. All right, so what uh, we now want to do um, is uh, install. So bundle and install. So this is just um, install some dependencies for us. Okay, so I've done this before, so I've got all the files. So now we can say Rails S for server. So this will spin up a new server that we can use, and we have an address for it here, this address. So copy this and go into your browser, which I've already done. Uh, paste it in there and hit the return key. So this is the holding page for every default Rails project that you build. Okay, so if you get this uh, page, it means you're doing it just good. So, so the next thing we want to do is um, open up a new tab, uh, Command and T, or Control and T. Um, in this new tab, we are going to say Sublime space dot. This works for me because I've configured some things. So this is the project. Um, if Sublime space dot doesn't work for you, which I suspect it wouldn't, uh, do this, go into your, your Google and type in Open Sublime from Terminal. Terminal and click on that link. Uh, scroll down here, um, installation section. So we want to copy this line and paste it in Sublime, but don't just do that because it depends on the version of Sublime you're using. So just copy this portion first, exactly as I've copied it, and CD space and then just to double check uh, space and paste and then tab okay so tab will complete it with your right version of sublime so then come back in here and copy the rest okay just up to the four slash without the four slash in um, paste this in here um, and uh, navigate all the way to the left um, with your left arrow key and when you're there come down here and delete this um, so I want to copy this symbolic link ln-s and then you can hit your delete sorry your enter button so hit your enter button now I've already done this so I'm not going to hit my enter button I'm just going to delete delete this so if once you've um, entered you should now have uh, a symbolic link and you can now type uh, sublime space uh, full stop or period and you should have uh, sublime open up uh, rails blog for you okay so um, if that doesn't work alternatively you could say open space dots and it's, it does the same thing it opens up um, the directory that we've seeded into and you could open up sublime independently and then drag this folder into sublime and and we've, we're back to, to the same thing so there's so many ways of doing the same thing so this is um this is what rails default generated files and folders look like it's quite a lot of folders and files but um we are going to go into all of them as time goes on so you will get comfortable with these folders um, I promise so 
it's a bit scary at, at, at first, but it, it gets a lot easier. So this lesson we have generated um, a Rails project. Um, we are ready to start coding, but before then, well, a few more things to do. So I'll see you in the next lesson.